Oh my god. Whoo, Jesus, dude. Oh, wow. Nice. Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be talking about Eidolon Slayers, particularly Mirage Prime. What, Mirage and Eidolon Slayer? Yes, I know it's a bit out there, but please bear with me. Now, for the longest time, we have been using Chroma or Chroma Prime because he's very reliable and he can deal a truck and a half worth of damage. And survivability for Chroma, especially if you're going for a Frost Chroma, is no issue at all. But we do have an option now to go for Mirage and I know that seems a little bit kooky because Eidolon hunts happen during the night and Mirage's free ability during the dark or in the dark places only offers damage mitigation 95% as long as you build her properly. Now that will help you greatly with staying alive but it doesn't do much for actual damage which is the whole point to an Eidolon killer. But we do have an option, what you can do is proc heat on yourself like so and no matter where you are as, as long as you have that heat proc on Mirage you're gonna be getting the light proc that is the damage buff. So it becomes a question of how can I comfortably and reliably proc heat on myself and is it good enough to actually hunt Eidolons? Because as you may know or should know by now Mirage's free ability Eclipse buff actually provides more damage than uh, Vex Armor from Chroma. Now link in the cards right now if you guys want to see the demonstration of Eclipse versus Vex Armor. That said there are a couple of ways and I'm gonna be focusing a lot on how to proc this heat on you because you will see that these results are absolutely outstanding. So first you gotta decide if you're gonna go Eidolon hunting with a primary or a secondary. It doesn't really work all that well with Archons, but more on that just a tad later. If you wanna go Eidolon hunting with a secondary weapon, something like the Euphona Prime or perhaps the Tomb Finger and don't worry, you can destroy a joint or the actual Eidolon in like 2 seconds flat, if not a one shot and even without a Riven. Simply because Mirage does provide more damage. So let's assume you want to go with your secondary weapon, with something like a Tomb Finger. Then the Jav Lock is the way to go in order to proc heat on you. You don't even need anything special. So we're just gonna jump into the Jav Lock really quick and you guys will understand later why this is so important. Because the name of the game will become how to proc heat on myself and you will treat it as a buff. So as you can see what I got here is a whole bunch of status chance with hammer shot and fermite rounds. Essentially the javlock only has heat damage by default and a pretty good status chance and all you gotta do is shoot the ground once and you are gonna be able to deal damage to you and therefore proc whatever element you have on the javlock. Again this is perfect because by default it's heat. We built a little bit of a status chance with fermite rounds and Hammer shot, multi shot with split chamber and vigilante armament so I can fire multiple projectiles therefore I have a higher chance of actually applying that heat proc. Status duration becomes extremely important because the longer the buff is up on you, again we're treating it, treating it as a buff, the easier it's gonna be to actually destroy Eidolon. So we got a mod that I never even had ranked up, continuous misery and hunter track. Now Vial Acceleration is here is so I can fire faster, again more consistent buffs. And this Riven is not needed at all. I paid 15 plat for this one just because it has status duration. Now without the Riven, the duration of my heat debuff is gonna be roughly 14 seconds and with a Riven such as that 100 and something percent status duration I'm gonna go to 21 seconds. More than enough. Normally you need roughly 12 to 15 seconds, something like that. But perhaps you want to go Eidolon hunting with your favorite primary weapons. Rubico Prime, Blanca, Vectis Prime, maybe even you want to go with an Arcan. In that case you might want to proc heat using your melee weapons or your secondary weapons. Now from all these secondary weapons that I tested there are a few that can actually reliably proc heat on yourself. But not good enough. I would still go for a melee proc. In that case you can use Glaive Prime or you can use Serata or you can use Exodia Contagion on any Zaw you see fit. I would recommend a fast Zaw. Now, the reason why I don't recommend something like the Glaive Prime is because that one has a tendency to proc Slash on you as well, and that is not exactly ideal. Not only because of the damage you would be taking, you wouldn't really care about that much with the damage debuff, a damage mitigation buff up on Mirage, but also if you're getting a Slash proc or an Impact proc or a Blast proc, then you're get not getting the Heat proc reliably, again, in order to make the whole Eidolon hunt as smooth as possible. So once again, Exodia Contagion, it doesn't need to be an R3 or anything like that, an R0 will do just fine. And this, I, I built this Zaw just for kicks and lols, mostly just so I can use Exodia Contagion on it. And what I got on it is status chance, 
But considering how Exodia Contagion actually works, you don't really need even the status chance on it, but go for status duration, something like Lasting Sting. Another mod that I didn't have ranked up, and this one actually has a drain of 16, believe it or not, and you're gonna need about 10,000 endo to max it out. Status Chance, Volcanic Gedge for the heat and the Status Chance, and Prime Fury just for a little bit of a attack speed. And again, you can use an R0 with this one. What are we gonna do with our melee is pretty simple for some of you. I know you already know, you're simply gonna jump, glide, aim, glide, and do a melee attack. Now, that will launch a projectile, and that projectile will detonate on contact with the surface. So you just use it in front of you like I just did, and you can proc heat on yourself. There's one catch with Exodia Contagion, however. It can, it can also proc viral. Even though you haven't built any viral on the weapon, it can still proc viral. And sometimes that is a bit of an issue when it comes to actually surviving. Especially if your Trinity is sleeping on the job. So, there's that. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Viral proc that time now let's try it again and there's the heat proc so yes it does proc viral sometimes and it is a tad problematic now using this heat proc we're gonna be able to deal a whole lot of damage to Eidolon Synovias and the Eidolons itself essentially when you go with Chroma you gotta self damage yourself and then keep the buff active with Mirage you're gonna have to activate that heat proc on you before you deal actual damage and it's not as super comfortable as Chroma would be considering that you just need to refresh the buff, but it is very effective and at the end of the day Mirage does deal more damage, which opens up a whole lot of possibilities for other weapons and you don't require Rivens for guaranteed one-shots anymore on certain weapons as well. Now allow me to show you some examples. First we're gonna take a common Eidolon Hunter, what would that be? The Rubico Prime. And I'm going to showcase to you guys builds without Rivens, just so you can fully understand the power of uh, Eclipse, Mirage's buffs and all whatnot. So this will be the build I used. No Riven, nothing fancy, none of these mods are expensive. And like 8 times out of 10, you're going to be getting a 1 shot on limbs. And like 2 times out of 10, you're going to be getting a 2 shot. You can go rapid fire, it's going to be like a second and a half to destroy a Synovia. As for secondary weapons, I chose the Tomb Finger and I got two builds for you, one without a Riven, one with a Riven, and for kicks and lols, and all time's sake, we're actually gonna be showing a build for the Euphona Prime. This is the build, once again, no Riven, and this is actually identical to the no Riven build I used on the Tomb Finger as well. Ready to go when you guys are. Destroy, nice and easy. Mm -hmm. is down, boys. Unaira's down. And done. Keep rock on. Join destroy. Keep rock on. Join destroy. Nice and easy. Yeah, no, 20 plus seconds right now with heat. Like 12, 10 to 12 seconds is more than you know, normally. Destroyed. <laughs> the great thing about the jab lock is the consistency of the actual clock. I have no problem in having the buff exactly when I need it. Oh my god. Whoo, Jesus, dude. Oh, wow. Easy. Got my heat proc. That was like 95% with a single shot from the Rubico, no ribbon. <laughs> That's just beautiful, man. When I was up, or should be, I hope. Got my heat proc. Ready to fight. One shot. And right now, like, look at this, he's bombarding me with the AoEs and stuff, and I'm, like, not even close to taking Anyone any real damage. Anyone got Reddit, uh, got Minecraft, and then it... Yes. Now, I don't, I don't want to fire for your Volt Shield this time. I want to see what I can do without your Volt Shield, just me and my clones and I. So, we remember to do it early. No. I already done it. And I have to cut out duration and it took I got my proc, waiting for him. Wow. 
Got my heat proc ready when you boys are. <laughs> A single shot. Got the heat proc waiting on you guys. Two shots. One took like 85 ish percent of the health. Got the heat proc. One shot. Charged, coming. Heat rocks on, ready to go. One, one shot did about 85%, 90% of the health there. Heat yeah, rocks on, ready to go. Whoo, jeez, that was so good. But it just annihilated it through the whole shield. It just like melted two shots, three shots, something like that, with clones and buff and everything. Destroyed. That's perfect. Now let's delete this guy. Annihilated, no ribbon man. No ribbon. Got the heat rock. Destroyed. Perfect. Good job guys. Charge that. Aiming. Firing. Got it. It takes about two to three shots depending on the crit roll and Avenger. But the thing is, you can pre-fire it, right? So you don't need to wait for anything. You just pre-fire it at the joint and when the shield drops, poof. Oh my god, I can't believe this is not with a ribbon. That was, how much was that? 95-ish percent, dude. Awesome. Two shots from the Euphona. Heat proc in play. One shot from the Euphona. Avenger proc. Almost a one shot from the Euphona there. Still to two. Roughly 95% I think it did there, judging by the health bar on the Synovia. We believe that the third shot you can. One shot from the Euphona, thanks to Arcane Avenger. One shot from the Euphona. Two shots from the Euphona to kill it. One shot did about 80% of its health. Through the Vault Shield, which does make a huge difference. That was just silly. Wow. Again, basically a single shot did... 90-ish percent there, not bad at all. Oh, so it's basically a revamp and you die. Yeah, if you want like guarantee, guarantee. I'm out of stack, so yeah. Uh, One shot. Mm, nice. One shot again. So you should factor that in when positioning with the with Mirage. One shot, two shots there. Again, a single shot about 90, 90, 90 something percent. Three shots from the Ufona. Uh, no teleport. No teleport. Yeah, I can see you're dead. <laughs> if I res my, if one shot at me with the mag. So what did you guys think? Pretty good, isn't it? Honestly, I am super happy with how Mirage performed. Now, there is a learning curve, switching from weapon to weapon, or if you want to use melee, that's going to be a whole lot simpler because you just do one melee attack, you get your proc on, then you can just shoot directly using your sniper or whatever primary you want to use. But a few clarifications, you might be concerned about Mirage's survivability. Historically speaking, this is not a very tanky frame, but keep in mind this. Most of the time you're in the dark with your free ability active which is 95% damage reduction. You can comfortably like this stay in a beam for like 15 seconds or for the entire duration and you still won't die. Especially if you got a trinity in your party which from my point of view would be the optimal case scenario. 
So, you're in the dark, you're proccing your heat debuff on you, you're gonna be getting that damage mitigation on. So as you can see, that basically did almost no damage to me. Now of course you're not gonna build on your proc weapon something like critical chance damage or anything like that, that's not what you're interested in. All you care about is actually getting that proc on consistently and for the period that you actually need. Now, in my team we had a Harrow, we had Trinity and we had a Volt as well, which from my humble point of view is the ideal setup. That said, let's talk about the actual Mirage build. Now I kinda went a little bit overboard because I love this frame, yes I am a little bit biased, you don't need this much power strength, about 320% should be good enough. Use Pistol Amp if you're going with your secondary weapon, Twilight Hunts, or perhaps if you're going with a Sniper, use Deadeye, they will make one big difference. As for Arcanes, I recommend double stacking Arcane Avenger, yes they do double stack, link the cards right now for the demonstration on that. Now it's really important to keep in mind that Vex Armor and Eclipse work very differently. If you want to know the full scoop, again link the cards right now in the comparison video. And just to be as clear as I possibly can, I'm not saying, hey listen, drop your Chroma and go for Mirage. I honestly still believe that Chroma is more comfortable, but Mirage does deal more damage. What I am saying, however, is that you do have an option, and it's one hell of an option. And I believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. Now, this way of hunting can be further optimized, but this is what I found in the past 2-3 days of testing. If you guys want to see it done live, tune in to my Twitch live streams, link in the cards, Actually, link in the description down below. As always, my name is Blazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you got any feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. Also, in the comment section down below, if you want to suggest a particular weapon review or versus. You can also find me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. Until next time, my friends. Bye bye.